sounds really low-fi, just really noisy, but it's not just an atmospheric abrasive sound. It just doesn't feel harsh, but it gets harsher and harsher and louder and louder as the sound progresses. It gets more intense and it slowly feels more like a vacuum. Yeah, like a vacuum cleaner. It sometimes sounds like a vacuum cleaner. And the sound gains momentum and gains momentum and it accelerates so much until the end where all instruments just blow up. So yeah, if you like uh, noisy shoegaze little bit in the most noisy side of the spectrum, right at the dreamy side of the spectrum, you will enjoy this part. It, it does justice to the emo tag because it's very depressive. If you prefer depressive shoegaze noise pop instead of the summer kind of happy shoegaze kind of vibe, it's going to be like you're going to like this more. And the lyrics are very direct. The lyrics are very direct, very clear with what they're trying to say. And they're very, the tickets are very depressive. They're filled with all this self-hatred and pessimism. And they talk about this discomfort, or this disconnection with the body, of not feeling like what you, not just who you are, but what you are. And they can get really intense around the end. I think that everyone can feel this kind of discomfort or disconnection with their bodies at some point, but not everybody will feel this kind of intense hatred or this kind of level of discomfort and disconnection with their body. It just feels like this is very extreme despair and it gets very tough well, at the end because how intense the sound can feel. And I, I personally relate uh, a lot of times to uh, that kind of feeling. What is this thing? What? Just how do I break free? If I'm not this, if I'm not this, then what the hell am I? <laughs> it's, it's that kind of sensation that the song is represented in its most bleak, so yeah, if you deal with that kind of doubts or pain, or discomfort, you will relate a lot with this song. You will feel that this song speaks to you. But if you aren't really into that kind of depressive, sad, vibe emotion the song is giving, you probably won't like it. Uh, it musically, if you if you don't like shoe uh, that kind of slacker lo-fi noisy pop, you will probably like it either because it's very lo-fi in the song, and maybe even the vocals. The vocals sometimes feel like someone screaming, like someone yelling instead of someone singing because it's, they're very ingrained in that despair. It's probably nothing to everyone, but I found that what it did was very genuine and exceptional. It was doing, it had a lot of ideas to represent, not just this kind of sound in the lyric, this kind of emotion in the lyrics, but also in the sound as everything gets more blurry and noisy and harsh and intense. I really liked this song, but I know that it's going to be a little hard for me on the soul at times. That's what I'm saying. And then you, you know, I usually find it great when you can talk about your emotions so directly. I usually just hide it, all my feelings between layers and layers of irony and, you know, comedy. And just I end up laughing every time. It just, and it, when, when I want to cry, when I want it, the funny thing is that when I try to cry, I just laugh. I just laugh. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> When you you want to cry, <laughs> you you just laughing. <laughs> oh, me. Anyway, yeah, for the rating. For the rating, I'm not sure what I could give to this 
song I was thinking. I was thinking, I have been thinking a lot about what rating I could give. I know. Let's let's ask in artificial intelligence. Maybe they could come up with some silly words and I just go but just can take something from there and build it up. Yeah yeah. The object that comes to mind is a weather locket. Picture this and all somewhat tarnished locket is surface etched with the passage of time hold. This weather locket is not just an object, it's a keeper of secrets. A guardian of the soul's deepest desires and darkest fears. That is actually a pretty good ring. How could I not come up with that? I mean, I have never had a locket, but you get my point, right? Sometimes, see, if I was, if I, if I was a computer, if I was a computer, I could have all the knowledge in the world, all the knowledge in the world, and come up with these kind of words, these kind of descriptions instantly. I feel the limit of my flesh. This is... Anyway, I'm going to give the reading to the sun by now. A weather locket. Yeah. It's... It's a uh, locket. It has inside something, but it's weather out on the outside. So it's a good representation for what this is about. So yeah, that's it. Maybe we, but maybe we can talk about the other terms I have come up to describe music, if you want. It could be fun. It could be fun. We have a little time, probably. I have to wash my clothes uh, because I don't have clean clothes. I have well, I have some clean clothes, but I need to wash my clothes. So yeah, I guess that's it. By now. The weakness of my how how does how does that word well the weakness of my the weakness of my soul disgusts me the weakness of my flesh disgusts me goodbye good damn it well whatever goodbye goodbye my beautiful souls Stacy.